So this is exciting. It's actually one of my favorite places in the valley, but a 50 year old plaza in Roma is getting some much needed renovations. The city wants to conserve their historic buildings and areas, but they say they're also looking ahead. Channel 5's Lily Celeste shows us how the project is honoring the city's past and helping to grow that small economy. Guadalupe Plaza has stood here for nearly 50 years, and for much of that time, it's needed some work. Now the city is giving it a makeover with hopes of attracting more business into the city. This plaza in Roma has been the place for many memories and important city events. Even before the plaza was called a plaza or considered a plaza, this area was used. They had uh, like little carnivals, they had uh, skating rinks, and it was a, a place where people got together. First built in the 70s, Guadalupe Plaza was in need of upgrades in lighting, seating, and even the bathrooms. So the city is investing roughly $250,000 to do that. Council felt that we wanted to make it a little bit more user friendly. Security is also playing a big role in this project. The mayor tells me several years ago, a police chase down 83 ended with a car crashing into the back of this stage area, and that damage was there for years. But after they fixed that up, they put in this guardrail as part of the renovation project. Now it'll stop any car coming down 83, protecting kids at the soon to be playground. The renovations include spaces for five food trucks. This would be Star County's first food truck park and an opportunity for more business in Roma. Local historian Jesus Correa has seen Roma through many stages and says this is much needed. Roma needs a new de economic development. Correa says the food trucks and outdoor events with a new stage will attract a younger generation and teach them about Roma's historic landmarks like the plaza itself. Roma became as National Historic Landmark District back in 1993. We are proud to be a unique city, uh, historical city, and for the new, new generations, they must know about our history. The city's mayor hopes so too. He says preservation and development are at the heart of the project. So it's a combination of, of preserving our history and modernizing this, uh, down, this area. The mayor tells me there's still a few weeks left of work, but May 16th, they're inviting the whole community to come see the finished product with a ribbon cutting ceremony. In Roma, Lily Celeste, Channel 5 News.